Setting up the registration form in Friendly Submissions for easy digital downloads is as simple as using a drag and drop form editor. In your dashboard, you will have a section called EDD FES, which stands for Easy Digital Downloads Front End Submissions. Under this menu, you have several links and one of them titled Registration Form. Click on that and you'll be presented with the Registration Form Editor. Quickly to see which fields we have in here, I'm just going to click the toggle button. And so we see we have a first name, last name, email, login, password, and display name. These are the default fields that your form will have when you first install Front End Submissions. But we can add any kind of field that we want. For example, if we want to have the user enter a biography to tell us a little bit about themselves, we can simply click and here it will show up where it will ask for a biological info and we can define a couple of options if we want, but more or less you can leave the defaults as they are. The main option you'll want is probably the label and whether or not you want it to be required. If you want to add a terms of agreement to the registration, simply click accept terms. And here you can enter any label you want. And then also the actual terms and conditions that you're going to have. And we can click save. Now we can add any field that we want that's over here. We can add check boxes, we can add drop down menus, text inputs, anything that we want that could be stored as custom metadata. Uh, and once you have that created, it will show up on your registration page. Now, there's several ways that we can set up the actual page where the registration form is displayed. This is a standalone page, just a standard page in my WordPress install that I have the, the registration form displayed on. And I set this up like this. Go to pages. I created one called FES register. And here it has a short code FES registration form. That's all there is to it. And here you can see the form displayed like this. And you'll notice that it has the required fields that you're required to fill out in order to become a vendor. Now, it is also displayed automatically as part of the vendor dashboard. So if we go to the vendor dashboard, first of all, let me show you what it looks like while I'm logged in as a vendor. I see this. This is my dashboard where I can see all of my products, my orders, my profile, etc. But if I visit this while logged out, or as a user that is not an approved vendor, I'm going to see the registration form. And here you can see it is right here. It's got all of the fields that we've added as well as all of the default fields. So there's two ways that you can display it. You can display it either as part of the vendor dashboard or on any custom page using the FES registration shortcode. It's as simple as that. Simply go to EDD FES, go to registration form, and create the fields that you want to be displayed on the form. At any time, if you want to remove one of those fields, simply click the X, confirm, and save your changes.